Hello, I'm Evgeny Yelisev, a teacher of Russian language from RussianWithRussian.com. In our last lesson, we examined five Russian letters specifying vowels A, O, U, E and E. Today, we continue our conversation about the Russian alphabet, but this time we will examine some letters specifying consonants. Are you ready? Let's go! This letter, called T, specifies the sound T. Note, please, that in Russian this sound is pronounced without aspiration. T. T. Not T. It's T. For example, T. To. Tut. Eta. The translation of these words you can find on my website. The next letter for today is the letter D. It's similar to its Greek analog, the letter delta, and specifies the sound D, pronounced without aspiration. For example, da, do, data, to da. The letter M is pronounced like the M in English. The only difference is the position of the lips, they must be kept a little more relaxed. Some examples. My, mama, Dama, Dom. The letter L, similar to the Greek letter lambda, specifies the sound L. Articulating this sound, the tip of the tongue touches the upper front teeth. L. L. Let's see some examples. Lada, Tula, Mil, Dul. This letter, called N, is pronounced like the letter N in English. Articulating this sound, you should touch the upper front teeth with the tip of the tongue. N. N. Not N. It's N. For example, Nota, Nila, Luna, Don. This letter, called K, specifies the sound K, pronounced without aspiration. Kuda. Akula, Ataka, Okna. For specifying the sound G, we use the letter G, a Cyrillic analog of the Greek letter Gamma. For example, Godi, Duga, Ugli, Ugon. This letter, called H, is similar to the Greek letter He and specifies the sound H. Hata, Halat, Uha, Mahal. This letter is called S. Normally it's pronounced as S. Unlike English, in Russian it never has the sound K. For example, Sumka, Siti, Sadi, Ananas. This letter called Z is pronounced as Z. Zona, Zal, Muzika, Kozy. Well, today We've learned some new letters specifying consonants, and now you know 15 Russian letters. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and visit my website to get more information about the Russian language and private Russian lessons on Skype. Thank you, have a nice day, see you at the next video.